Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, and I'm testing the 2014 Edgewater 210 IS. Now this bay boat has everything you need for hardcore inshore fishing, and it's got a solid permagrid construction with all composite hull and a Penske composite transom. This makes this boat super rigid. It's great for going offshore on nice days. Before I walk you through the features though, take a look at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with the Yamaha F200 outboard. Our test prop was a Reliance Series stainless steel 14 and a quarter by 17 inch three blade. We had a test load of 450 pounds of passengers and 30 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 49 miles per hour at 6100 RPM. Our time to plane was 3.7 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 6.7 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 25.8 miles per hour at 3500 RPM while burning 5.2 gallons per hour. Now one thing I like about the way Edgewater builds their boats is that instead of anodized aluminum structures, they've got powder coated structures. It's a great clean look and it stays good looking for a long time. You can see the grab rail around the windshield is super durable, gives you a nice secure ride in rough water. The leaning post aft is also powder coated aluminum, super sturdy and very comfortable. It's arranged perfectly for comfortable stand-up driving or you can recline, sit back a little bit and enjoy the ride on a little bit more leisurely pace. Now the helm station itself has got ample room for installing electronics. If you want to, you can flush mount a GPS sonar, VHF radio and a stereo system. There's also plenty of space on top for mounting your electronics on a bracket. I like the fact that we have toggle switches and circuit breakers easily accessible on the helm and you can see that the trim tab switches are perfectly aligned with the throttle which makes trim adjustments easy. Now this one's equipped with a stainless steel tilt wheel that gives you the ideal driving position. Now inshore fishermen live and die by their live wells. They've got to have plenty of bait. On the fore part of this console you've got a live well that's ideal for shrimp and crabs. Aft you've got an enormous live well that's ideal for greenies or for pilchards. To the port and the starboard of the live well, you've got plenty of storage. And take a look at this. You've got a really nice cooler that's tucked into the leaning post. Now the casting deck is a thing of beauty. You've got plenty of room to move around up here and place accurate casts. I like the fact that you've got a four slot rod locker on the port side. You've got dry storage on the starboard and here in the center, you've got a locker that's ideal for keeping your bait nets. If you're a bottom fisherman, you're really going to like the anchor locker. There's plenty of room for anchor chain and road. Now this boat is optioned up with the fly casting platform that bolts in to the center eye bolt. It's also optioned up with a 24 volt trolling motor that's removable and it's pre-wired for that electrical system. Now the 210 IS is perfectly equipped for hardcore fishing. If you'd like to add some comforts, there are sun pads that are optional that make this a great day boat. You've got raw water wash down to clean up the sandy feet from the beach. You also have easy access to your batteries and easy access to change the fuel filter. The 210 IS is a very sturdy build, all composite, and it comes with a limited warranty. I really don't have too much left to say except that I'm ready to take it for another spin. I'm Randy Vance. This is the Edgewater 210 IS.